Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and again in front of you we have another computer. This one I had my eye on for quite a while but I finally was able to grab it on a decent price and as you probably are suspecting this is the Xiaomi Mi Air 12 as you can see the specs in front of you. Um, this computer came out uh, sometimes last year with um, the uh, latest KB Lake M uh, Core M3 7 Wine 30 at the time. It was kind of an upgrade uh, from the previous one, the original Air 12 that came out with the Skylake um, CPU, which was the 6 Y30. This was uh, a little bit of an upgrade. So I wanted to grab it for a long time. Um, kind of missed on a couple of good opportunities when the price was under $500, but I managed to grab this one for 580. This is the four gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of SSD storage version. Uh, the highest model, unfortunately, um, they never really released uh, a model with eight gigs of RAM, otherwise I would have grabbed that. But to, uh, about that a little bit more. Uh, later, let me go ahead and open the box. Uh, the box came um, well packaged, the way you see it in front of you, in its retail package, and it had kind of a plastic cover. Uh, from DHL. I grabbed this one from Gearbest uh, right after the Chinese New Year and before crazy prices hit Gearbest for some reason. At the moment this computer is $780 which is absolutely crazy. I don't know who would pay that kind of money but uh, you know I grabbed it for $580 which is $200 less. Um, now all the prices have skyrocketed over there at Gearbest. I'm not sure why. I'm gonna reach out to some of the representatives that I have contacts with and check with them and see what the reason is, but it is what it is at the moment. Uh, like I mentioned before, um, late last year, this uh, specific version was sold for around $480, $500. So uh, paying $80 above was not that big of a deal, but I'll, I would definitely not advise you <laughs> to go ahead and buy um, that computer for above that price you know i think over 600 dollars and now 700 and close to 800 it's uh, absolutely crazy so well packaged uh, never been opened retail packaging uh, hasn't been tampered with which i was kind of hoping because i don't want uh, you know any 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 additional um, uh, software installed on the windows or anything like that uh, most of you are aware uh, this computer comes with Windows 10 Chinese version, but converting it to English version is very easy. I'm gonna make a quick uh, additional video how that's done. Uh, extremely, extremely easy. Just download a copy of Windows um, Home Edition that is on English from Microsoft. Uh, put it uh, in a boot and from there it's just next, next, next pretty much. But like I said, I'm gonna make an additional video and um, kind of inform everybody how that is done so uh, after that you're gonna have a fully activated English version of Windows Home and you're gonna be able to go ahead and do whatever you want after that um, as you can see um, absolutely new by the way it's uh, manufacturing date was in December of last year so just a few months since they um, manufactured this specific unit that I got seals on the box are still on so let me cut them up real quick, open the box and see what the contents are. Uh, very surprising, you know, from pictures and from other videos, I could never judge how small that box is, uh, but it's really, really, really small compared to anything else I've had and I have. It is uh, tiny, absolutely tiny. The computer is very light, uh, you know, at 1.07 kilograms one of the lightest uh, in my possession and one of the lightest I've seen out there. At the same time, all matter body, uh, very, very well built. Inside the box, we have a quick start guard uh, guide, um, which uh, has a very nice embossed logo of uh, Xiaomi. Um, not a lot of information inside and always in Chinese. Obviously, if you read Chinese, you can pause that and read it, uh, but uh, really, this, if you ever use any computer, it's not much uh, really to, to talk about or something different. Um, some, some gestures here on the, on the trackpad po uh, pointed out in the back, but again, everything is on Chinese, so it really doesn't serve me any purpose, but it is what it is. It's still there in a nice envelope. And underneath, we have the charger. Very nice charger. 
all white, US prong. The cable is long, about five feet, well bundled, USB type C, and it's rated at 45 watts uh, and delivers a different amps at different volts. So about uh, 2.5, or no, 2.225, uh, 20 volts, then at 15, it's three amps uh, and 12, nine and, and five is about two amps. Very fast charger, I actually use it on other computers as well. I have to say it's uh, it's delivering a pretty good power and being USB Type-C, you can use it in any device that uses USB Type-C, uh, phones, computers, anything else. So very, very good packaging. Uh, unfortunately, no additional goodies in there, but uh, Xiaomi kept it very minimalistic. So let's go ahead and open the computer packaged in this uh, really clear and nice plastic uh, cover again never been tampered never been opened i really like to see that uh, let me slide it out of this package and a couple of stickers in the bottom you will notice dolby audio akg which um, the, the speakers are tuned by akg very nice sounding by the way the new windows sticker this is the latest uh, sticker that uh, windows microsoft are supplying to their vendors a uh, couple of Xiaomi logos, serial numbers and production dates, uh, five rubber feet on the bottom, speaker grills, and um, those. this bottom part is held by Torx Cruise uh, T5. Uh, one thing I noticed in the corner, you'll see not the greatest alignment and <laughs> the edges are kind of sharp. So if you're expecting craftsmanship on the level of you know Apple or uh, some much, much more expensive computers, uh, don't. Uh, that being said, it's really, really well done and just a minor, minor gripes that I, I'm finding. A lot of people in other views have mentioned that that plastic part that covers the wireless antennas uh, has uh, bad paint or wrinkled paint. That's not true. Uh, on my inspection is actually the back, that plastic cover is, uh, is covered with clear plastic so it won't be scratched and that actual plastic part, that clear part is wrinkled. Um, on one side we have a USB full type A, USB-C where you charge, and on the other side we have 3.5mm headphone jack and the full size HDMI port. That's, uh, that's about it, that's what you get on this computer, but for me I think that's enough. Having a full size USB is great, a full size HDMI as well, and with the USB type C you can use a lot of adapters and kind of docks that you can plug in and use for video, uh, data, charging all kinds of stuff so it's not bad at all and the LED on the side actually indicates the charging so red when it's charging uh, green when it's fully charged trackpad is nice and big right? it's uh, done by uh, it's synaptics trackpad with the keyboard um, it is good and comfortable but I was expecting it to be metal for some reason uh, and in fact it's uh, actually just plastic keys uh, painted silver which is fine it's backlit, unfortunately only one level of uh, backlight and it's kind of bright if you're using it in a completely dark room. Uh, it's a bit blinding, but uh, I'd rather be there and have some backlit than, than nothing at all. Um, again, the trackpad is not the best I've used, not the greatest, not the newest, but it's very pre uh, precise, comfortable and uh, the surface is pretty good as well. Uh, the processor inside, like I said, the KB Lake, it's it's pretty potent, you know, if I can call it this way, uh, for light uh, office work and for browsing, I think it's good enough. Two cores, four threads, uh, base clock is one gigahertz, turbos to 2.6. I think all four, all two cores, all four threads can uh, turbo together up to 1.6 gigahertz, four megabytes of cache. Um, and this is quick com size comparison between the boxes of the Xiaomi. Air 12 and uh, brand new Yoga, Lenovo Yoga uh, 920. I'm gonna show you in a future video as well. So this is it for uh, for now, guys. Uh, really, really pleased with uh, the Air 12. Uh, is it still worth it? Yes, absolutely. For 580 and below, it's a great price. Don't pay anything above that. My personal advice. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple more videos about uh, this computer, converting the, the windows, doing some other modifications. But uh, till next time guys, uh, as always, thank you very much and you have a wonderful day.